So for our final seminar project, we decided to research the role of government and charities in natural disaster aid. Uh, it's a very current topic considering uh, the hurricanes that have ravaged the United States in the past few years. Um, and so this is kind of uh, a big topic in the United States right now. So why is it necessary? Individuals, towns, and even cities lack the infrastructure to individually recover from large natural disasters. It is necessary for there to be large institutions in place to assist those suffering from these hardships, whether it's money or food or aid or just help restoring their homes and houses in their previous lives. That's what aid is for. So first we'll cover the government. Uh, so the main big government program is FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It was founded in 1978 under the presidency of Jimmy Carter, uh, and it's really there to assist residents uh, in the whole environmental crisis process. Uh, so again, before, during, and after phases. Um, and instead of volunteer work, they actually hire workers for a short term. Um, they can even be 120 days to provide immediate relief after a disaster and it also can last longer than that. Uh, so just some examples of some FEMA work. Hurricane Michael response in 2018, um, there was a big hurricane that struck the United States. Uh, they provided $22.5 million in funding to Florida schools to rebuild. Uh, and secondly, Hurricane Irma in 2017, uh, there was a big in Florida as well. They provided $2 million in funding to Florida residents. So again, a big monetary uh, presence for FEMA and government programs. And then another thing uh, that FEMA did was the Disaster Recovery Reform Act of 2018, signed by President Trump, uh, which is more direct response to the hurricane and wildfire devastation uh, that was experienced in 2017. Uh, and it was really put in place to make FEMA simpler um, and also help share the burden of natural disaster aid instead of it all falling on FEMA. So charity, charity relief is second. Uh, so again, charitable organizations that really rely on donor funding and volunteer work. So the American Red Cross is one that most people know, um, heavily relies on the use of, again, volunteer work and donor funding. A response to 62,000 disasters every year uh, that can range from small disasters. As you can see, 90% of them are home fires to hurricane work, uh, and 95% are volunteer workers instead of paid workers is seen in FEMA. Uh, so Red Cross work includes Hurricane Michael Relief, where they served over two million meals to survivors, provided shelter for a lot of uh, those displaced, and provided mental and physical health funding. Right. So which is the more reliable source? So the government has more funding, they're very coordinated, a lot of, they have a lot of resources in their large scale, Sometimes, as everybody knows, the government can move slowly and be very unorganized. For example, in Hurricane Mar Maria with the Puerto Rican response. In the charity, the pros, the volunteering numbers and strength specialization in smaller fields. The cons are donor money is susceptible to exploitation. While both chari charities provide aid to people, the government is more effective. They have a larger organization which can help them more develop the country that they're helping or disaster. They focus on the long term while Red Cross kind of resp responds to short term providing food and aid. They don't seek to restore the uh, aid needs to, uh, for the long term. And that is our presentation.